hello hello everybody uh, it is a very prime thing uh, about regarding mm, connectivity of oracle database with uh, different client application like uh, say about J javascript or uh, you connect through visual studio id any client application may be uh, Oracle 10G forms. Now, for this connectivity uh, to the database server, we actually need uh, the Oracle client adapter. Uh, suppose uh, no client adapter is uh, installed on your computer, uh, I mean client side computer and uh, uh, suppose we want to connect to some database using some uh, user password or schema uh, you will get uh, speci different type of error say mm, client adapter required uh, version 7.0 and above of so today we are going to see how to install client adapter on a client machine to connect to a database server uh, in the same computer or in other uh, server computer located in elsewhere uh, for this uh, cl installation we will use uh, oracle from forms uh, and reports uh, I mean Oracle developer 2000 uh, it uh, consists of a client adapter known as Oracle client net 80 so we will perform a custom installation uh, just to only to install the Oracle net 80 client so uh, let's uh, run the search setup as you can see this is the setup of oracle d2k uh, <coughs> okay uh, let's pr provide a company name whatever it may be uh, press ok, okay. Uh, this is uh, we will take just a forms developer uh, you can also uh, select the report developer it doesn't matter because we are going to l install on the oracle net 80 client now we will not go to the typical uh, we will go to the custom press ok now we will search for the oracle net 8 products yeah here it is now see under this oracle native products see there are oracle native assistant oracle native client oracle protocol, ad proto protocol adapter so uh, this is not required we will actually only require oracle native client uh, and you can also uh, install oracle net assistant because uh, if you don't want to uh, configure your a a service name manually uh, editing the tns names or ora file uh, you can use the net assistant so we will install both net assistant and oracle net client Though we will not uh, use the Oracle Native Assistant, we will uh, see how to modify the TNS names dot ODA file and configure the service name. And uh, we will also show you how to configure the service name using oracle net client 
okay installation is complete now as we have seen the orient is installed in the d drive so let's go to the d drive search for orient orient folder under the orient folder we will go to find the net zero folder and under this net zero folder there is an admin folder here you will find the tns names.ora file now see the file these are all the default uh, client uh, default service name and as uh, this file uh, tns names is pre-configured um, actually net zero doesn't overwrite the existing tns nums.ora file and uh, as it is pre-configured here is a s service name called ora which actually client to the orcl uh, sid located on the ip address 192.168.171.166 uh, look at this one this is uh, the oracle uh, sorry, database which is located let us see I mean sorry see this is the uh, IP address 192.168.171.166 here is the data database uh, located so what you need to do uh, just uh, remember this one or you can note it down first it is the service name which is a local service name of your computer client computer then under the description uh, the, uh, uh, there is address under address there is protocol which is TCP always uh, you give the host name host equal to either you can provide IP address or you can provide the uh, server name and uh, port is uh, always default 1521 and connect data is uh, which is SID SID means the ID which we, we which which with which you, you have installed the Oracle database SID name which is ORCL suppose uh, we are going to add a new service called ORADB so I just copied and paste and let's see service name equal to ORADB protocol equal to TCP host equal to uh, IP address and port equal to 151 SID and after creating this you save the TNS names to or a file and you can log in to the database using this ORA DB uh, let's check uh, uh, the net 8 as S10 uh, I doubt whether the net 8 as S10 will open on or on windows 8 so we can we can try we can see whether it's open or not yeah net 8 is the config see uh, let's go to the mode of modify see it is ORADB I've just uh, entered the ORADB in the TNS names dot order file so it uh, comes in the uh, existing list and you will also find the ORA so okay so let's uh, test the ORADB let's see whether it succeed or not uh. yeah uh, the host name is the IP address port number 1521 SID is ORCL test service well ok uh, it's taking a hell of a lot of time
okay let's uh, try with something else mm. I don't know there should be some IP issue or some firewall issue uh, it's not connecting well uh, it's taking a hell of a long of time, time so let's uh, t check it from the SQL star plus okay um, Uh, let's uh, connect with this user sir I'm sorry what are DB Let's connect with Ora. So we can see. See, uh, we have connected with the service name Ora as well as Ora DB, and this is uh, possible with the DNS name start order which is configured with net8 easy config so you can see we have installed uh, two star service one is net80 client another is net8 assistant and uh, net8 assistant is uh, for those which who cannot configure the uh, service manually uh, yeah, modifying the tns name start order file Mm, but mm, others uh, programmer I mean developer who are able to connect through TNS names dot order file so they can easily use net80 net80 client uh, and that's all which is required uh, to connect uh, through mm, any application say whether it is Java platform uh, Oracle developer platform uh, PHP whatever uh, so so that's all guys uh, this is uh, how you can connect uh, through the database using Oracle client